hey everyone welcome to my channel so i recently installed a new os which is archcraft in this machine and then i was setting up a project and i just realized that git is not set it up in my machine so i was setting it up and so basically i was you know uploading uh, my ranger configuration to my github and while doing that i found that my git you know was not set up so i was setting up the git and i found that like a cool little trick that many people don't know so i wanted to share that so like when you you know git uh, set your email address and then your name to your git config global section right and then after setting up that like when you try to you know get you know you know do like so currently i'm giving it a commit message i'm just committing the message and gcms means git commit message that git commit dash m space message right and it's a alias that is coming from git plugin so after if i hit enter you'll see that it is committed right now and if i do git status you'll see that currently on main branch nothing to commit working tree clean that means every file is committed right now right so what i wanted to do right now like if i do git push you know git push to my uh, machine which is git push u origin main right and you'll see that it will ask for username and github password right so what i wanted to do is like in instead of like giving the username and password every time i wanted to save the credentials inside terminal so that every time we don't have to you know give the username and password and this is much better right so how can we do that so to save the git credentials in your terminal what you need to do you need to type git then config and then global this will set the credentials globally and then credentials dot credential dot helper right so helper and then store so there is a git store where this uh credentials will be stored so now if you do git pull git merge git whatever you want to do and the credential will be saved to this location which is pretty awesome right and keep in mind that like if you are using your machine with someone else that means if you are sharing your machine you should avoid this because uh, it saves these credentials in a plain text by the way and that's why it's if it, it's convenient when you know that uh, no one's going to you know uh, you know access your computer so yeah you can do this and i generally do this because my machine is only used by myself so yeah i can so you can see that the command has succeeded now if i do like get push then u origin main and it will ask me for my username which i can give right and then it will ask for password and if you don't know uh, like after august uh, github you know stopped using their password for this kind of authentication so what you need to do you need to create your personal access token to access github from your terminal right so i have my personal token i will just enter that and you can see that i can easily you know uh, commit my full folder to my github repo right but let's say i want to now do a git pull right let's say it, you want to do it you see already updated it didn't ask me for the username and password again and again so this was a quick little video but wait if you know like if you don't want to save it in a plain text manner so what you can do you can use something called lib secret right something like lib secret so what this will do this will save your you know git credentials uh, in somewhere else what do i mean by somewhere else that it will store this in a chain key format so that will be safe kind of but it's a kind of uh, you know work around to get it working with a uh, terminal so i found it like using the base get credentials dot helper is much easier and it's like convenient because no one's going to use the computer so yeah that was it and by the way guys like try to use linux every time right if you are in windows or any other os like try to switch uh, to linux if you're like developer or you know in your computer science anything 
so it will help you to you know grasp things quicker in the long run so that's it and if you like this video you can subscribe and yeah bye